Hello, Rick Gase here, Associate Broker with Remax Advisors, Macomb County, Michigan's leading short sales specialist and default advocate. Looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Today we're going to talk about should you complete a loan modification or a short sale. It seems that most of the homeowners that come to me want to complete a short sale as a result of failed loan modifications. Yet during the process they try to complete a short sale it's really common for the seller to be approached and reapproached by the lender to co try to complete a loan modification. As a result, I'm constantly being asked if I recommend that a homeowner complete a short sale instead of attempting to do, do a complete loan modification. Of course, that's not a decision I can make or advise on. Everyone's situation is different, and homeowners need to evaluate their own pros and cons on their own. I want to point out that uh, going through this process, you will lead to the same situation over and over. Certainly it's wise to seek counsel or qualified CPA or an attorney pertaining to their situation and options that are available to them. In an ideal situation, loan modifications should include principal reductions and, a, be, and be a strong incentive for a homeowner to pursue, pursue this option. However, it's rare, about 1% of the time. In fact, most loan modifications usually increase the uh, principal balance instead of reducing them. Looking ahead, homeowners should not take a quick answer, should not take a quick answer to solve their situation. With, uh, with long-term consequences, for example, if the homeowner's property is worth $200,000 today, yet they own $400,000 on a mortgage, how much better off are they going to be in a few years when they want to sell? The bottom line is it will still be underwater with their mortgage unless the property values and doubles in that amount of time, which I doubt, don't see that happening. Whereby a seller completes a short sale today, they could be in a position to buy a property in two to three years from now at the market value type, which is about $200,000 if we don't see any major appreciation. So does a short sale make sense? I don't know. Take a look at my short or stay calculator. Am I short or stay? Again, am I short or stay .com. Put in a little bit of information address, a little bit of information about your mortgage, and my computer will automatically email back to you within a couple of minutes a detailed report on how long it's going to take before you break back even. Again, my feeling is if it's going to be more than a couple of years and you're struggling to make payments now, short sale the property now before you get in trouble. If your homeowner has missed payments, possibly facing foreclosure or more than your property's worth or just looking for short sale information, please contact me, Rick Nees, the area's leading short sale specialist and default applicant at 1-800-274-5656. Again, 1-800-274-5656. Or email me, rick at rickgeese.com, for free, got no obligation, count, confidential consultation, where you can receive the latest information on what your options are to avoid foreclosure and the benefits of a short sale. Again, for more information on short sales or loan modification, make sure you visit my website www.miforeclosurehelp, again, www.miforeclosurehelp.com or macombshortsaleinfo.com. Both these sites are loaded with great information on loan modifications and help to help, to help you avoid foreclosure. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.